YouTube friends, it's Joyce from Morris Patch of Heaven Homestead and welcome to the trailer. We are going to do another herb segment, um, just a short one today. Um, I wanted to share with you an herb that is simply amazing. I know I say that about all herbs because I'm so passionate about it, but this one is amazing. And you know what's so funny is last year it was absolutely everywhere everywhere we went we saw this herb and this year we searched high and low just to find one and we found one and boy <laughs> it was crazy there was a few that we saw growing in um you know different farmers fields which we knew we couldn't go on their property we finally found one in the ditch here it is can you see it this is where the flowers are, and here are the leaves. Check it out, guys. There is the root. I'm thinking we may be able to plant it. It's a little sad, but look at that. Do you all know what this is? This is mullen. Mullen is amazing. Uh, when the Indians first um, found mullen, they used to smoke it. Um, the leaves are also known as poor man's toilet paper because it's real soft. It feels almost like, I don't know, just furry. So this is one that has not bloomed yet. And then we found this one. We have ants, guys. If you all know what to do for ants, let me know. We've never had ants before, and we have ants. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so anyway, we found another one. And this is just some that we cut off of it. But see, you can see the flowers are bright yellow. Look at that. They're beautiful. And then look, the leaves can get huge. This was on the bottom of a huge, beautiful mullen plant that we saw. One that we saw in town. So we just helped ourselves to just a few of the leaves. <laughs> but you can see how this would be wonderful for toilet paper if you didn't have any i mean it would work so anyway um sorry about the raspy voice as well i have laryngitis <laughs> trying to get over this crazy little cough thing that i have um but anyway so be on the lookout it grows you know i really can't tell you where it grows because we've had such a hard time finding it this year but um, in ditches along fence lines that's usually where it grows for some reason it was just hard to find this year I don't know why I don't know if it has to do with the chemtrails I don't know what but there we had a really really rough time finding it but the reason I wanted to share this with you is because the health benefits are simply amazing I know I tell you that a lot with all these different herbs but each one is prized for so many wonderful things. This one is an expectorant. It helps, especially in this day and age with all of the lung issues that are taking place, lots of phlegm and mucus that needs to be expelled um, with pneumonia and stuff. This will do it. You can make it into a tea um, out of the leaves. You would dry the leaves out and you would use it for a tea. Um, and I think the reason that they said they used to smoke it, it was the same thing. I mean, I wouldn't recommend you go out and smoke it, but um, that's what the Indians used to do for any kind of lung ailment. They would smoke the leaves. Um, it also helps with the cough and it brings up that mucus. So that's really what you want. When you have this congestion in your lungs, you want to get that mucus up and out. So the best thing to do would be to drink this because it will bring it out. Um, so, and it settles the chest. So it settles things because sometimes you'll get that rattling in your chest and you're like, oh my goodness. And in the throat, you'll get that throat, you know, the itchy throat and stuff. This is amazing for that. And so um, uh, it's good for like respiratory conditions, like I was saying, for all of the respiratory it helps fight viral infections, guys. Yeah, viral infections. Think about that. Okay, uh, antibacterial properties. 
and it helps you to sleep. What better thing if you have a cough, congestion, pneumonia, your body needs to sleep and this will lull you to a sleep like never before. You will just sleep so wonderfully. Um, it helps with tuberculosis, is that amazing? I know that that is something that is horrific and if there's something that can help with that, yeah. See, the Lord made an herb for everything. All we have to do is our research and look for it. And this is one of those that is just growing in the ditches. Out where you're at, it might still be out there. For some reason here in Missouri, it was really hard to find this year. Last year, it grew in abundance. It was everywhere. I was telling Jean, I said, look at it, there's mullen everywhere. It was like a mullen paradise. But for some reason this year, not so much. Um, Okay, it helps soothe skin conditions. So if you have any kind of skin condition like psoriasis, um, eczema, this is really good. You can soak your hands in it, your skin. Um, you make a tea and you can just put that on and it'll soothe whatever condition of the skin that you may have. Um, it helps with joint pain and muscle spasms. Is that amazing? Every now and then you may be getting, you know, a muscle spasm or something or you have joint pain, this is something that will soothe that and really help with it. Um, let's see here, and it also helps with thyroid issues, guys. If you have any kind of thyroid issues, you can make a tea. See these beautiful leaves? You can put them on a screen, put them in a dehydrator, dry them out, and crumple them up, make a cup of tea, and drink it. Yeah, start figuring out ways to drink teas that are good for your body. Um, there's so many teas and drinks out there that are not good for you, but there are so many that are, and this is one of them. It can help treat headaches. If you're a person that gets headaches a lot, this might be something that you would want to drink. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, Let's see. Okay, bronchitis. I don't think I said that yet. Ear infections, guys. That is key. If you ever get ear infections, it might be something that you can drop into the ear. Um, our children never really got ear infections, but if they ever did, garlic oil was one of those that I would just drop in the ear. You can do the same with mullen. Make it into a tea. Drop it into the ear and just let it do let it do it let it do its thing. <laughs> Getting a little carried away there. Um, it's good to stimulate hair growth, guys. Amazing. Make it into a tea. Put that in a hair rinse. Let it stay. Don't rinse it out. Once um, you've shampooed and conditioned your hair, make this tea. Put it in your hair. I would put a bathing cap or something over it and leave it for a long time, maybe an hour or so. Take it off. Dry the hair and watch the wonders. It is amazing. Now the, the Indian people really knew their stuff because most of them had a head full of beautiful hair. So that must be what it was. Um, it protects against dry scalp. So if you have an itchy dry scalp or dandruff, again, work that into your scalp, put a bathing cap on, leave it, let it sit, don't rinse it out. It's just a tea. And then comb through your hair and watch the wonders. Okay, so it's good for wounds. So if you have any kind of sores or wounds, you know, you've cut yourself, you can put that leaf right on there, um, you know, and it will help with that. Also for inflammation and helps with the heart. So if you have any kind of heart issues, you may want to start drinking mullen. Um, if you have inflammation, you may want to start drinking mullen. I cannot say enough good about this wonderful herb. It is prized, as far as I'm concerned, for so many wonderful things. Look at this. Isn't it a beauty? I mean, look how tall it is. And they get even taller than this. And these bottom leaves can come out this far. So anyway, you can start growing this yourself. You can buy mullein leaves. I know they sell them on Etsy. Um, and I'm sure there's other places that you can probably get, you know, an organic heirloom seed. Um, but yeah. If you are suffering from any of these conditions, I would say mullen will, will work for you. But I just wanted to share that with you because I just thought there are so many amazing benefits um, 
that this is one that's worth sharing. And when it really grows beautifully, these beautiful flowers are so pretty. And you know what? You will have toilet paper in case we run out again. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope this helped some of you who may be suffering from some of these conditions. Try Mullen. It is amazing. But um, for those of you that um, are new to our channel, we are um, a family of four now. We have nine children, but still two at home. We have just bought an abandoned farm. We are in the midst of um, rebuilding this um, abandoned farm into our homestead. We are living currently going to be living in a trailer. This is our trailer here. And we are going to then be building a home and come along this journey with Welcome us. We'd love much. to have you. There's going to be all kinds of fun stuff. Our son raises sheep. We have pigs. We do chickens and ducks and yeah, the whole nine yards. But anyway, so if you've not um, subscribed, please consider doing so. We'd love to have you on this journey with us. And um, give us a thumbs up. Let us know you're enjoying our videos. But we will catch you on the next one. God bless you.